Today I'm going to be reviewing the Lucado Encouraging Word Bible. This is from Thomas Nelson and it comes in the New King James Version and the NIV as well. I actually have both um, translations here so I will show you a bit out of both today. I'm going to start with the New King James Version. So the general editor of this Bible is Max Lucado, so we're going to get notes from him throughout the Bible. So let's just go over some of the features here. We're going to have 98 People of the Word articles. We're going to have 691 For Your Journey marginal notes, 115 Jesus Through the Bible and Growing in Christ articles, 30-day personal or group Bible studies to enrich your knowledge of the Bible, we're also going to have God Cares for You and Growing Up Spiritually verses, which are subject-specific and provide another resource in your study of the Bible. It's also going to include Where to Turn When scripture reference list, so you can find your answer to any challenging questions that you're facing, um, Bible book introductions, um, dotted margin space for journaling or taking notes, Bible reading plan, concordance, full color maps, and then we're going to have the clear and readable New King James Version comfort print in a 9.5 point type. I really enjoy the New King James Version comfort print. It is one of my favorite fonts. So I do, I like that aspect of the, of it as well, this Bible. So this is the brown leather soft cover here. I'm going to see the Lucado Encouraging Word Bible, um, New King James Version, little symbol for Thomas Nelson here. We have these kind of, they're not raised hubs, they're like tooled in lines here. We have perimeter stitching. We're also going to have two ribbons, double-sided satin, it's like a cream color, and then this be very beautiful blue color. So as we open the Bible here, we're going to have a presentation page. Page turning issues, sorry about that. My daughter's playing Legos in the background, so if you hear any weird noises, that's probably what that is. So. We have a Before You Begin, a word from Max Lucado, the general editor. We have a table of contents, abbreviations, an introduction. And this goes over the features in a little more detail that I just went over on the back of the box. We're going to have an articles index for people of the word, the consider studies, Jesus through the Bible and Growing in Christ notes. Then we're going to have a Bible reading plan. A preface to the New King James Version. And then we're going to get into the Old Testament. So as I mentioned before, each book is going to have an introduction, and I like it this how, I like how in this Bible, I should say, Max Lucado kind of makes the introduction almost like a story. So he just, um, for example, in Genesis, he starts out, so there you are, a teenager at your grandparents' house. You don't really want to be there, but it's one of those family things, and so you're there. You sit politely and act like you're listening as your folks and grandparents talk. Then your grandmother says something that catches your attention. She refers to your great-grandfather and the trip he made to America from the old country. What, you ask? Grandma smiles, knowing that at some point we all wonder about our origin, and here you are wondering about yours. And then it kind of continues into a story, and he ties that into Genesis. So that's unique how the introductions aren't just facts. There's also kind of that storytelling element to them as well to draw you into the book. And then, of course, you have some of your information that you have in most other book introductions where you get your author and the date that it's written, um, some key verses, key people, and then a little outline. I like in this one also how the chapter numbers are in green, the headings are in blue. So it just kind of gives you, um, just I like to have color in my Bible, so I just think that's kind of nice. 
In the margin here, we see a four-year journey. So it gives you um, some scripture references, in this case, Genesis 1, 1 to 2, 3. And it gives you a situation, observation, inspiration, and then application. So basically, the situation just kind of explains, um, just gives you a, a sentence about what you're reading. And then... Um, we get into the observations. So for this one says, God demonstrated power and love by creating. With only a spoken word, God created everything around us. Then with loving care, he formed Adam out of the ground. And then you're going to get inspiration, which I'll, I'll just read a little bit of this. I won't read the whole thing, but just to give you an idea more of what it is. So for the inspiration, it says, with one decision, history began. Existence became measurable. Out of nothing came light. Out of light came day. Then came sky and earth, and on this earth a mighty hand went to work. Canyons were carved, oceans were dug, mountains erupted out of flatlands, stars were flung, a universe sparkled. Our sun became just one of millions, our galaxy became just one of thousands. Planets invisibly tethered to suns roared through space at breakneck speeds. Stars blazed with heat that could melt our planet in seconds. So you just kind of get the idea. He's just really setting the scene um, in these notes and just kind of drawing you into the scripture. He, uh, Max Lucado is a very good storyteller. He's a very good writer. So he just kind of um, brings that element to the notes of this Bible, which I think is really nice. And over here then, once you get through that inspiration section, there's an application. And an example of an application would be this. Today you will encounter God's creation. When you see the beauty around you, let each detail remind you to lift your head in praise. Express your appreciation for God's creation. Encourage others to see the beauty of his creation. So I always like having application be included because application is so important. You know, we can get really caught up in reading our Bibles just every day to check it off of a list. And not that there's anything wrong with that. But we want more than that too. We want to be able to apply what we're reading and understand it. So I think those, that aspect is really important as well, getting that application in there. So here is a consider article. It says consider choice. And then so it gives you, it's again like a little story slash devotional. This is a great devotional Bible. So you have that there. And then your study guide, it gives you a chapter and some verses to read. And then it gives you some reflection questions to go along with it. So again, always good to be able to have that to dig a little deeper. Here is a character profile. This is Adam and Eve. Again, I like the green color scheme here. You can see I've mentioned before that the biblical text is a 9.5 font. The notes in the margin are a little smaller. I'd say probably an 8.5, but very easy to read. You're also going to see when there isn't those devotionals in the margin, you see these dotted lines. So if you like lines when you're writing, those dotted lines are there for you to take notes. But if you wanted to do any art journaling or anything or just do your own thing, sorry about that, camera moved, or what was I saying now? Sorry, being interrupted by my child. Anyway, uh, these, if you wanted to art journal and not, or do something where you're not using the lines, you definitely could. As the dotted lines are there, but they're not super dark or overbearing. Another character profile here with Noah. The Bible's definitely very easy to read. Although there's a lot of content on each page, I don't feel overwhelmed by it just because of the layout. The comfort print really helps you with readability. So here's an article on Jesus through the Bible. And this is Jesus, the Lamb of God. So I like how he has the articles about connecting Jesus to every book. Like we're in Leviticus right now. But even though it may not always seem like it in some of these books in the Old Testament, Jesus is a part of every book, and he's important in every chapter, every verse. So I like that we have these articles on Jesus through the Bible. This one is Jesus the Perfect Priest. Let's skip ahead a little bit here. So 
the other book introduction. Those are all laid out the same way that I went over in Genesis. We have that devotional story content here, and then we have the features that you get in most um, book introductions off to the side here. So you get a little bit of both worlds there. I love the blue color of this ribbon. Here you can see how Psalms is laid out. This Bible would be great for as a, as a devotional Bible, but there's also some study content in here as well, some in the back, which I will show you in just a minute. So you could definitely use it as a study Bible as well. And I always say this when there's any Bible that is mostly, most of the notes and extra content is from one author, really any study Bible, just, you know, take it with a grain of salt, read it, apply it, always put God's word first, always be discerning when you're looking through study notes, and just always um, be in prayer before you study that God will help guide you. All right, let's jump into the New Testament here. So as you're going to see here, this is a black letter text. There's another consider article. This one's on habits. Jesus compassion. Prayer. Another Jesus through the Bible article. This is Jesus, the judge of the living and the dead. This one's in Romans. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and skip to the features in the back now. So at the end of Revelation, we're going to see some going deeper studies. And this is one of my favorite features of the Bible, this Bible here. So we have a 30 days of content. And for each day, you're going to get a have you ever wondered with some questions. You're going to get scripture to read. You're going to get like a paragraph or two of thoughts, his thoughts. And then you're going to get some personal application questions. And if you want a more in-depth study, it gives you additional scripture to look up. So there is 30 days of that. There's Jesus, our Savior, coming home to your Father, God's love, growing in God, the Bible, God's scrapbook, no appointment necessary, the Holy Spirit, on your feet in praise. So I won't read all of them, but... This is a great study to do. It's a 30-day study. I like how it gives you scripture. I like how it gives you um, reflection questions. And I also like how it gives you the an, an option to dig deeper and look up additional scripture. And the have you ever wondered are, is a nice feature as well. For example, this one's called a heavenly home. And it says, have you ever wondered what happens after you die and what heaven is like? So it just gives you those guiding questions to kind of think about and consider before you start digging into the study. A little too far here, I'm just gonna back up a couple pages. Okay, so again, there's 30 days of study there. And then you're going to get into God cares for you verses. So it says like God made you his own, he comforts you, he gives you confidence, he sets you free, he takes your worries. And for each one, you're going to get a scripture, and then you're also going to get see also. It will give you a couple additional scriptures that are not printed there that you can look up on your own. We also have growing up spiritually verses, where to turn when scripture list. So like when you feel angry, when you need peace, when you have questions, when you need rest, and then it gives you 
a couple scriptures to go with each of those topics. Have acknowledgments. And then at the end, we're going to have our maps. And then we are at the end of the Bible. Now, I do want to show you a little bit of the NIV as well. The content is exactly the same, so I'm not going to go through it the way I just did. I just want to kind of compare the font and look at the cover, and then we will move on from there. So this is the New King James Version. And then this is the NIV. Hold on, let me get my hand on this here. Just so you can kind of see a different in the font, the difference in the font. I prefer the New King James Version comfort print, but they're both very nice, very easy to read. They're nice and bold. Uh, the 9.5 font size is helpful. So you can't go wrong really with either one. This is the blue leather soft cover here that I have in the NIV. So you can just see the difference here. It's going to be the exact same size, exact same articles. The only difference is, of course, the translation, the comfort print font, and then the color of the cover. This one is also indexed whereas my New King James one is not. So there we have both of them. So again, this is the Lucado Encouraging Word Bible. I'm experiencing the heart of Jesus. Max Lucado is the general editor. It's from Thomas Nelson. It would be great as a devotional Bible. Um, Lucado is a really good storyteller. He kind of draws you into what you're reading and studying. So I really enjoy those aspects of these Bibles. And if you, um, like Max Lucado, are looking for a good devotional Bible or looking to do some of those studies or reading plans that were in the back of the Bible, I would highly recommend picking up the Lucado Encouraging Word Bible.